In this video, I'll show you how to fix a common problem many Valorant players run into the VAN 9001 error, also known as TPM 2.0 initialization failure. Let's get started. First, let's start simple. Click on the start button, then open the settings. On the left side, choose Windows Update, and if you see any pending updates, click download and install them. Keeping your system up to date can solve many issues. Next, let's check your BIOS update. Sometimes an outdated BIOS causes the TPM errors. There are two ways to update it. The easiest way is through the Windows update. Scroll down and let's click on the advanced options. Then open optional updates. If you see a firmware update, that is your BIOS. Select it, then install. If nothing shows there, you'll need to download and install the BIOS manually. From the start menu, type sysinfo and open the system information. Scroll down and you should see the motherboard manufacturer and model listed here. Open a browser and let's type your motherboard name and the model number followed by the word download and hit enter. From the result, look for the official manufacturer's website and download the latest BIOS and have it installed. If the problem is still there, let's adjust the Windows Security settings. Click on Start and type Windows Security and open it. On the left side, choose Device Security and click on Core Isolations Details. If Memory Integrity is on, just turn it off now, because sometimes this interferes with the TPM initialization. Now let's use the command prompt. Search for CMD and select run as administrator. Copy the following command from the descriptions below and paste it in the command prompt window. When it's done, close the window and restart your PC to apply the changes. After restarting, right click on the Windows icon and select Run. In the Run window, type tpm.msc and press Enter. This will open the TPM management window. Here you should see the TPM is ready for use. If you see an option to clear the TPM, go ahead and do that. Your PC might restart again. Next, let's check the TPM with the PowerShell. Search for PowerShell and run it as administrator. Copy and paste this command from the video's descriptions Now look at the result, the line TPM ready must say true. The other values, they should all say false. If something doesn't look right, restart your PC and check again. And finally, launch Valorant and see if the error is gone. If you still see the VAN 9001 error, it might be a problem with your game files. In that case, uninstall Valorant completely, then reinstall it fresh. This usually fixes any corrupted or missing files. If this has fixed your issue, let me know in the comments and please like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching. Thank you.